Maximum gold is going down. Welcome to the Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh! channel where we discuss everything collecting and investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! So last week we covered the clearly targeted buyout of Blue Eyes White Dragon and Dark Magician from Maximum Gold. I mentioned how Blue Eyes showed up from what, 5, 7, 10, somewhere in that range instantly to 25 to 27 in like the blink of an eye. Dark Magician, same story, from 7 to 16, 17, boom, instantly. And I mentioned this feels like a targeted buyout. This was not just organic demand for the cards suddenly pumping these up. And people got a little angry, of course. Well, like I said back then, I wasn't impressed by the price. I was impressed by how quickly it happened. It felt really early. And as we can see now, they're already going down. As of the time of making this video, Blue Eyes is already down to 21 and Dark Magician is already down to, I actually forgot, was it 12? I don't know, I'll put it up here on the screen, somewhere in that range. So that's an instant loss of 20%. Now, do I think it'll drop more? I don't know. I can't predict the future. This is not a prophecy channel. We just discuss collecting and finance. I would probably agree with Rogue Duelist Trade that 20 might be where it stabilizes for the Blue Eyes and then for the Dark Magician. I don't know, maybe 10. But again, I just call it as I see it. When I see a card jump from 5, 7, 10, whatever it was, boom to 27, just like that, I just call it as I see it. That's fishy looking. But it is not a big surprise, right? Like, this is not me being some, whoa, a genius or anything like that. Maximum Gold is just being opened en masse right now. And so many regular people who go to locals and open their boxes are starting to bid the prices down. They are flooding the market with their singles and other sellers are also who maybe got their boxes late or just started opening. And so the market just gets flooded with these singles. We see this every single time. Prices bid down until it stabilizes at a level where there are enough buyers willing to buy that it bottoms out and then it might go up or down even more. Who knows? But you need that level of stability. However, if you got angry at me last week, when I said that 25, 27, something like that felt rushed and over the top and like calm down, it's a stupid price that early. And you then proceeded to buy saying, ha, 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 you'll see, you'll see. You're already down 20%. Good job. Now, I don't really care about short term. I honestly don't care if it goes up, down in circles and so forth. But by getting emotional, right around release. Because you think, oh, it just went up, it tripled, and so now uh, it's gonna go up more and more, I'm gonna miss out, oh no, no, I don't wanna miss out, it's gonna go to 70 maybe, I, I'm gonna need to buy right now. You're already down. Now, I am aware that 20% on a $21 card is not a lot of money. It's really not that big of a deal. If you bought three at that price, you basically wasted one hour, maybe two hours of work if the minimum wage is very low in your state or country. Again, one or two hours of work, it's not the biggest deal. I understand that. If you just wanted to own the card to put in your deck or in your binder, it's not a big loss. It doesn't really matter. However, this channel is about collecting and finance, investing. If you are buying cards and you are telling me I am investing in those and you are consistently making 20% losses like that because of moves like that, that's where we get a problem. Because be aware, if you are investing, you are not buying one maximum gold blue eyes. You are buying many cards or many copies of one card even. And that is where you get the scale issue once again. So this is again, not some major news. This is not some big excite, whoa, dropping, everything's going to zero. Nothing like that at all. Just your typical drop when more supply enters the market. It's just that if you act on emotional whims when those prices on release go up, whether it's because of targeted buyout or a bottleneck on the supply, if you are then making purchases, telling yourself they are investments, you might be in trouble later down the line. And I'm hoping this channel can somehow stop that from happening. Now we're late into the video and I already pissed off all the irrational people so they're already gone. Personally, I find the ghost girls kind of cheap. Now, this is not me giving financial advice and I personally don't invest in modern stuff. I own some modern stuff because it's fun to play with, fun to look at, but I am not looking for financial gain with modern stuff. So I wouldn't buy the ghost girls, but I find it fascinating. These are some of the prettiest foils out there. Seriously, like golds look pretty. Now they're not as pretty as I thought they would be, Honestly, like some people hate golds and then some people were like, well, these new golds look way better. And some people went, uh, maybe they don't look quite as good. Me personally, I like them, not as much as I 
thought at first, but I still like him. And so when you have to choose between your 60 or $70 Ash, I don't know, in secret, what's the price now? I don't even know. When you have to choose to pay that, or you pay seven bucks for the gold one, I don't know, it Fe feels pretty cheap. Now I'm sure it can go lower. Again, boxes are en masse being opened right now. But if that supply puts some downward pressure on the prices of these pretty much staple cards to a point where they're even lower, I feel like long term that may be interesting. I look at House of Champs, I look at Robbie Cole and so forth, and Cole sitting on all this maximum gold stuff, I get it. But again, he's a shop slash vendor slash seller slash flipper. It's a completely different ballpark than someone buying a few cards, calling themselves an investor and like hoping to sit on them long term. Totally different world. But so yeah, I can see it. Like he can sit on some of these clearly staple cards that obviously in 15 years, they'll no longer be staple, but the coming two, three years, they'll, they probably will be. And then as that supply dries up, some of these I can see actually doing really well. I'm not interested in that business. I will not be entering that business, but I get it. Ash right now in every deck. And that card is seven bucks for clearly like the prettiest alternative after secret. I don't know if that's a controversial idea. So that is quite interesting to me. Uh, does that mean you should now go buy out all the $7 ashes gonna make stonks? No, I'm not saying that at all. Again, if you're just a guy who doesn't have the scale to do all of these moves, it might be a very tough market to do in. But you know, that's just something I still find interesting to watch. That is all. Hope you found it interesting. Like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.